that's a kissing bug, little kitty. A kissing bug? How sweet! May kitty give it a kiss? Oh, no, no, no. That will be like kissing the Grim Reaper. The Grim Reaper? Why? Let me explain by answering the question. What happens if a kissing bug bites you? Zoom in! Kissing bugs or triatomine bugs belong to the assassin bug family. They are usually dark brown or black with orange or red markings along their edges. And they grow to about an inch long. Though they are mostly found in Central and South America, a few have made their homes in the southern parts of the United States, particularly Texas, Arizona, and New Mexico. These insects are sneaky night feeders. Drawn to the warmth of your skin and the carbon dioxide you exhale as you sleep, they like to bite soft areas on the face, especially around the lips or eyes. Hence the nickname Kissing Bug. Despite the sweet sounding name, there's nothing romantic about what happens next. A bite from a kissing bug doesn't usually hurt and may not even wake you up. The danger comes later in a much stranger way. After feeding, the bug often defecates near the bite wound and inside its feces hides a microscopic parasite called Trypanosoma cruzi. When you scratch the itchy spot or rub your face, the parasite can slip into your body through tiny cuts in the skin or through your eyes or mouth. Once it's in, it begins to multiply quietly often without any obvious signs for weeks or even years. At first, you might just feel like you have the flu, a bit of fever, fatigue or swelling near the bite. Some people get a swollen eyelid, a symptom known as Romana's sign, which is one of the few visible clues of infection. But even if you feel fine, that doesn't mean you're safe. Deep inside your body, the T. cruzi parasite may be starting a long, slow attack that leads to Chagas disease, one of the most serious parasitic infections in the Americas. In the early stage, the symptoms of Chagas disease are often mild and easy to overlook, which is why Many people don't realize they've been infected. But the parasite doesn't just disappear. It hides inside the body, especially in the heart muscle, where the immune system's ongoing battle slowly damages the tissue. Over time, this scarring weakens the heart and disrupts its rhythm, which is why even decades later, about one in three infected people develop serious problems such as irregular heartbeats or enlarged heart or heart failure. Others may suffer from digestive complications where parts of the digestive tract become dangerously enlarged. So, if you ever suspect you've been bitten by a kissing bug, the best thing to do right away is wash the area thoroughly with soap and warm water. This simple step helps remove any traces of the parasite before it can enter your body. Try not to scratch, no matter how itchy it feels. And if you start feeling unwell, see a doctor as soon as possible. Just remember that not every kiss from nature is a sign of affection. Trivia time! Did you know the kissing bug saliva contains a compound that numbs the area, so the bite is often unfelt at the time? Also, they become noticeably round and bloated after a blood meal, changing from a flat shape 
to a more globular one. Sketching time. Today's sketch of the day goes to Hilary Har. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. So, Kitty, do you still want to kiss the bug? Sure, it just needs a diaper. <laughs> oh, Kitty, never mind.